Welcome to Electro Online. Here we have an example with five inequalities. Of course, the last two are the usual x must be greater than zero and y must be greater than zero. But the first three now form a combination of three inequalities that we somehow have to graph and find a region that satisfies all of these five inequalities. You can now see why the technique where you erase what you don't want or at least uh, black out what you don't want and leave blank what you do want makes more sense we have all these multiple inequalities so how do we do that again the idea is to turn those into equations to find the boundaries and the equations will then be for number one we end up with 12x plus 5y is equal to 60 move the 12x across 5y equals minus 12x plus 60 divide everything by 5 y equals minus 2.4x plus 12. So there's equation number one to go with inequality number one. For equation number two, we have 4x plus 5y equals to 40. 5y equals minus 4x plus 40. Divide everything by 5. y equals negative 0.8x plus 8. That's equation number two, and for equation number three, we end up with 2x plus 5y is equal to 30. We have 5y equals minus 2x plus 30. Divide everything by 5, y equals minus 0.4x plus 6. And there's equation number three. So what we're going to do now is we're going to grab those three equations. They're all in the y, y equals mx plus b format. So let's go ahead and grab the xy plane. y-axis, x-axis. Okay, for equation number one, we start at plus 12 right here. And the slope is negative 2.4x. So that's a fairly steep slope. So it looks kind of like this. And... Well, let's see here, negative 2.4. That would put this at possibly five. Yep, that would be correct. Okay, for the next one, we start at plus eight. And the slope is not as steep. So that means we end up at some point where this is equal to 10. So that's line number two. So this is line number one. Uh, number one, this is line number two. And line number three starts at six. And the slope is 0.4. Let's see here. That would be at 9, I believe. Let's see. When the y is equal to 0, x would be equal to 60, 15. All right. Uh, that's something like this. So last one would go across. I need to make my x-axis a little bit longer. But it would cross that x equals 15. So the way I did that, if you're, if you're wondering, I multiplied everything by, uh, let's see, by 10, and I said y equal to 0, so I end up with uh, 4x equals 60, or x divided by, 60 divided by 4 is 15. So, all right, now I need to find out what region I really want. First of all, x must be greater than 0, y must be greater than 0, so anything below the x-axis, anything to the left of the y-axis, is not a valid region under the conditions stipulated. So there you go, we get rid of those two. Now, what else do we have left? Starting with number one, we're going to try test point. I like test point zero, zero, like this. And uh, let's plug in some zeros. So we have zero plus zero. Is that greater than or equal to 60? Question mark. And of course, the answer is no. That means zero, zero lies in the region relative to line number one that does not belong to the solution. So we get rid of that. Okay, for inequality number two, again, we're going to plug in zero and zero for x and y. So we end up with zero plus zero. Is that greater than or equal to 40? Question mark. And of course, the answer is no again. That means that region where the zero, zero is at, the origin, does not belong to region, num region along according to line number two. So anything on this side of line number two is not part of the solution. And finally, number three, again we plug in zero, zero for x and y. And is that greater than or equal to 30? And of course the answer is no again. 
So according to line number three, and this is line number three right here, anything on this side of line number three does not belong to the solution. So you can go ahead and get rid of that. And then it becomes clear that this here is the region, yes. The valid region that satisfies all five inequalities at the same time, to the right of y, above x, and delineated by the three lines, uh, the boundaries of the three regions defined by those three inequalities. And so you can see that if you have a lot of inequalities, it's just cleaner to scratch out what you don't want, and then what's blank is the region you do want. And that's how you find the region defined by those five inequalities. I like this method the best. No. My method is so much easier. You don't have to sit there and go, yes, no. Is this greater than 16? No. Is this greater than no? It's a fail-safe method. It works. It's fail safe. Just as fail safe. You're just not used to it. I'm not used to it. It's the way I learned it a long time ago. Old dogs don't like to learn new tricks. Especially the old part. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll find out from the viewers which ones I like better. <laughs>